Welcome to the Fourth Watch, mighty friends. I'm Brother T.C. of the Elijah Ministries coming at you live from down on the bayou. I hope you have done your work upon your knees this day. That you are on both your knees in a way that seeks the everlasting glory and not the ways of mystery Babylon. Yea, the evil that is around us all, the unseen world that seeks to devour each and every one of us. Yea, let the glory, yea, let the firmament of the sun in our heart, he shine, blinding brightness in their eyes. That their repentance would be sure with fear and trembling on this last day. Ye, ten days of awe. Ye, Yom Kippur, the day of transfiguration. And now these few days to get our little dwelling place prepared for the Mashiach to enter into all of our hearts and feast with us for the next, at the sundown today, for the next seven nights and the next seven days. Rejoicing with all our hearts, with the Mashiach. Ye dare to let him enter inside your heart this week and focus on him and rejoice on him and receive the blessing and begin to remove the curse. Ye the drops of living water, first in the natural, ye then in the spiritual. That your little five or six percent of your carnal mind, entrapped, encapsulated within this mystery Babylon, you do not see. Yea, the lock can find the key and unlock the narrow gate that you can enter inside of heaven within your heart. Yea, that the tabernacle of David could be built in your mind. Nothing is real in Mystery Babylon. It's all there to test you, to take you down to the pit. You must resist. You must turn away from Mystery Babylon. The way of the wicked the way of our fathers, the traditions of our fathers we inherited in the darkness of the eyes of mortal men wanting the truth but never finding the truth, forever studying the truth and never receiving the revelation of the truth. For they love not the Mashiach with all their heart, with all their mind, with all their very soul, wanting him truly to come in and, oh, help each of us bring forth those stones out of the middle of the Jordan to set up the tabernacle, the temple service deep within each of our hearts and minds, using the implements in the way of everlasting upon ourselves and our family. All that are found worthy who come 
as a willing vessel to dock and be upgraded. Yeah, to go deep. Yeah, deep. That the Ruach could reveal all things to you. And so it came about when our beloved David, yeah, that king that is immortal in the spirit realm, dwelt in his house. At David, yeah, he said to Nathan, the prophet, Behold, I am dwelling in a house of cedar, but the ark of the covenant of Maria is under curtains. Then, Nathan said to David, Do all that is in your heart, for God is in, God is with you, brother. Yeah, hallelujah, and the everlasting glory in each of our hearts, his son, Yehoshua, the Mashiach, Yehoshua HaMashiach, yeah, the Sabbath day king. King of righteousness, our high priest, yea, that we are his princes and his priests, yea, until we are baptized in the everlasting, after we graduate from the school of everlasting and can bear the glory upon our hearts and minds slowly in a way that we would not die, but we would be everlasting upon the earth. So it came about this very night when Sukkot 6018 begins that the word of God came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell David, my servant. Thus says Maria You shall not build a house for me to dwell in. That's pretty plain right there, isn't it? Yeah. For well, Maria has not dwelt in a house since the day that he brought you all, us all, Israel, to this very day. But he has gone from tent to tent and from one, yeah, from dwelling place. Yeah, the dwelling place, tent to tent. Yeah, that's exactly the things that the Father has put in my heart along the journey. I hope he has placed those little breadcrumbs along your path to build your faith. Yeah, in a measure like no other man will ever be upon the earth. Only you have that measure. Yeah. Only by hearing the word everlasting can your measure be magnified. Yeah. By you reading to your children and the words of your children, your grandsons reading the word back to you, mighty friend. Oh the innocence of their hearts, the purity of what the children are taught, the innocence that treasures the greatest of all upon the earth, our children, reading words of everlasting with the love of the Mashiach in their hearts. From their young age, they, all of them, everlasting, 
fasting with the Mashiach in their hearts. Yeah, let this Sukkot be the one mighty Father that sets all men free. Hallelujah, Yahovah, and his everlasting glory in our hearts and minds. Yahushua HaMashiach. Yeah, let his blood flow in our heart. Yeah, be as gold in our veins. Be as the father of everlasting thoughts in our mind. Now, therefore, thus shall you, shall you say to the servants of the beloved. Thus says Mariahova of hosts. Yea, Mariahova took from you the pasture, from following the sheep, to be leader over the people of Israel, yea, spiritual Israel in this day. Yea, Mariahova has been with you wherever you have gone and has cut off all your enemies from before you. Yeah, and the faithful son, Yahoshua, who does the work of the father, Yahovah, yeah, he will make you a name like the name of the great ones who are in the earth unseen but also everlasting shining as the firmament of the sun for those with eyes that see hear yeah, the great army the elect hosts that stand round about the elect hosts yea yeah, that take evil like an eagle's talon with outstretched wings and the clutches and drops them into the abyss. Yea, that they would scatter into their dark caverns and tremble and let all God's people come together yeah, for this next week, beginning at sundown today, and commune with the Mashiach. Yeah, and then on the eighth day, when the door shuts, man, yeah, the tribulation begins to come, and they come and bang on the door. And say, did we not cast out demons in your name? Did we not heal in your name? Did we not do all these things in your name? In yeah, the name of Jesus, most likely, they didn't go deep enough. They were still in Mystery Babylon and never knew it. Yeah, and for their lack of the love of the truth, yeah, the sword of the word removed them in the Father's perfect time. Yeah, circumcision of the heart, circumcision of the head. Oh, a neck sliced. A spiritual a mind cracking open yeah, like the womb wanting the seed of the word to come inside. 
Let the Mashiach be birthed in your heart. Yeah, the tabernacle of David be built with the wise master builder inside your heart and mind, doing the perfect work. Yeah, your hands never holding steel. Yeah, all your stone work with unhewn stone. Yeah, let the temple fire be made manifest by the coals placed by the angels upon your lips this day. Let your inequity be burned away. Let your mind be renewed and let all the wickedness of the past be the curtain before your eyes. Let all of heaven upon the earth be the sea and the salt upon your lips before your eyes. Yeah, and mighty Yehovah will appoint a place for the spiritual tribes of Israel and will plant them there. Yeah. So that they may dwell in their own place and not be moved again. And the wicked will not waste them any more as they formerly have done. Even from the day that Yahovah commanded judges over his people Israel. And Yahovah will subdue all our enemies, yea, by the work of his son. Yahushua, who commands yeah, all the Father's work, yeah, a wise master builder, creates all for his love of the Father, his faithfulness to always do. Upon the tender herb in the morning, that the song of Moshe would always be upon our lips. Yea, each weekly part, yea, like a you standing westerly in an eastern breeze upon the green pasture. The mystery Babylon beckoning. Yeah, but the scent of heaven now fills our nostrils. The sun beats in our heart. Moreover, I tell you, that Mary will build a house for you. Yeah, hidden deep inside. When your days are fulfilled, that you must go with your fathers. And Mary will set up, yeah, through the power of the everlasting glory of your love of him and your descendants who loved him too, who will be of your sons. And Mary Yehovah will establish his kingdom. He shall build for himself a house, and he himself will establish his throne forever upon it. Do you see it? Do you taste the salt, mighty friend? 
There is no third temple in the carnal realm. Let there never be one built that the evil could be upon the earth. Let it be built in the hearts of men. Let the abomination of desolation be in the hearts seen by righteous men with a hope of glory in their hearts. Yea, that the eagle would take us and hide us. Yea, protect us. The Father of all would place his hand around each of us and place us on the cleft of the rock. Yea, that honey from the rock would drip from our lips as he passes by, covering us with his hand, that we would not die. Yea, and then, after three and a half years, forty-two months, that tabernacle is built within, and his great glory we can bear, but only if we follow him into the kingdom of everlasting. We get ahead of him. Yeah, the brightness of his everlasting will be as if we touch the ark before our time. Do you see the parable word of Yehoshua written? Yeah, at the direction of the Father unto the Son upon your heart. Yea, that your stones could be stood. Yea, and you can camp here for a week. Let them be set as a monument to our children. Now go back into the Jordan. Yea, stand twelve more stones up. Yea, mighty Father, stir up the sand at the bottom of the reed sea. Make your manifested stones rise in the land and be seen. The truth, yea, before the eyes of blind men, twenty-four princes, rocks, kings that humble themselves and throw their crowns, let the rocks cry out. Yeah, that the book would be a red reading and the blood, the carnal nature that drips from the minds of men who read it without the spirit of love and everlasting in their hearts, who seek only to devour and deceive the hearts of other men and take their money and live with a shared purse upon the earth. Fat cats, yeah, cardinal birds, yeah, blue jays screaming at the top of their lungs. Let them be as little rabbits, tender morsels, Seen by the keen eye when the eagle saw. Yeah, mighty Yahovah will be our father. And he, yeah, Yahushua, in our hearts will be our son. His son. The father's son. Yeah, and he will not take his loving kindness away from his son, Yehoshua, the everlasting glory, which is the word in our hearts. As mighty Yehovah took it from him who was before you, yeah, your 
father. So Mary Yahovah shall not take away his loving kindness from his son as he took it away from your fathers. That you can receive them, his son, the Mashiach, in your heart this day. Yeah, and be transfigured. Yeah, come, Elijah. Come, Moshe. Yes, hold their hands. Lead them along the narrow way. Ye, their locks. Let them wipe their tears away. And let the key in their pocket. Yeah, rip their breast clothes apart. Yeah, but Mary Yahovah will settle him. Yeah, in his house. Yahushua the Mashiach will be in the house of yeah, David's heart. David, don't build this. Put it in your heart. And so he did. And he became immortal. Well, maybe not immortal. That's more of a pagan kind of a thing. He became everlasting in the unseen world, moving in and out of the door in the mysterious way of heaven, hell, and all the earth once more. But Yahovah will settle Yehoshua in your heart in, and in Yahovah's kingdom yeah, given to the Son to rule and reign his son's kingdom our king of righteousness and right understanding Yehoshua forever Yahovah settled him in the house and in the kingdom forever Mashiach Yehoshua in your heart and in your mind, the Father of Lights, Yahush, Yahovah, the Father, ye, with the love of the Son in your heart. That's the thing. That's it right there. That's what he's saying. According to all these words, ye, First Chronicles 17, 1 through 15, ye, and according to this vision, so Nathan spoke to each of the beloved from the unseen world yeah, into their carnal minds and unlocked the door of everlasting yeah, and took them by the hand and began to blow their little minds revealing the 94% hidden deep within the tabernacle of their mind Oh, mighty David's prayer in response to all these things. Then the beloved king went in and sat before mighty Yehovah and said, Who am I, O mighty Yehovah, my God? And what is my house that you have brought me this far? This was a small thing in your eyes, O God. But you have spoken of your servant's house for a great while to come and have regarded me according to the standard of a man of high degree. O mighty Yehovah, my God, yeah, our Father. What more can the beloved King still to you.
concerning the honor on your servant. Hmm? What more can David steal? They've added other words in there and changed things around. And, but the wise can see. O oh, Mary Yehovah, for your servant's sake and according to your own heart, you have wrought all this greatness to make known all these great things. Yehovah's timing is perfect. Oh, repent, fall upon your knees and cry out to the Mashiach. Forgiveness of the lies inherited from our fathers. Oh, and the common set a mustard seed upon your heart. Ye become a student of the beloved and walk everlasting. Ye perfecting all that have came before us. This is our work to perfect Moses, David, Elijah, ye all the glorified ones, all those that live and breathe the Father in their hearts everlasting. He moving in and out of the door of the Son who created all as princes in his kingdom of everlasting. The word the Father told you all right now that he don't want it. A carnal, he wants a spiritual Israel. He wants a spiritual tabernacle. He wants a living sacrifice and not the blood of rams, lambs, and goats. <clears throat> what more? Can the beloved still? To you concerning the house on your servant. O Maria Jehovah, in the name of the everlasting glory in our hearts, Yehoshua, for your servant's sake and according to your own heart, you have wrought all this greatness to make known all these great things. O oh, mighty Yehoshua, there is none like you, nor are there any like Yehovah. Ye, the glory. The hope of glory on our mind. Beside you, there are none, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like your people, Israel, whom God went to redeem for himself as a people, to make you a name by great and terrible things in driving out nations from before your people, from you redeemed out of Egypt? Hmm? Out of nations from before your peoples whom you redeemed out of Egypt. Yeah, come on out, y'all, Mystery Babylon. That Egyptian... Yeah, 
walk like a chicken. Oh, that's an Egyptian, sorry. Walk like an a chicken. There's Egyptians walk like chickens, you know. That's the kind of blood they sling. They know not the everlasting. They concerned about the they're using their powers. They don't want to use their powers up before the next moon is full. Yea, may the shining of each moon like the one in this moment be a witness against evil from this day forward that their power would not radiate upon them as it had before, that the word would be made true in their hearts this day. Powerless, only the fear and trembling of the everlasting Father looking, yea, wanting to remove their head and look down and see the darkness in their heart, that he may place his hand around it and transfigure it by the power given his son, that only by your love of his son, the Mashiach, can this great gift take place, that the father of lights could come at his perfect time and sit on your mercy seat you and the Mashiach, that wise master builder inside, having built all of heaven, yea, and the tabernacle of David deep inside, you are the son of David that is to build it in your heart, yea, that your house would be a house of prayer, and that on the Sabbath day, you would bring forth your family and hug at them. Yea, for as they came to you on the Sabbath day in repentance and hope of glory to come to live everlasting upon the earth with the hope that they could be one of the ones to live everlasting and be found worthy to live everlasting and not be found wanting, having to willingly give our lives like the Mashiach did. For all of us have fallen short of the glory and have sinned. Forgive each of us, Father. Seek first the kingdom each and every day and the righteousness of the Mashiach in your heart. And the washing of the word will cleanse you and forgive you of your sins, even your iniquity. But only 70 times 7 amount of times. So work not inequity upon your brother. Yea, the grace given me, let it be enough for you all. I know what you all are. I know what you all do. I know how you are all unrepented. I know the synagogue of Satan. I know too much that they would want to come and slay the everlasting given me. They may do that, but they can't yeah, remove us all as the word is everlasting. And when it's in a man's heart and when it lives as flesh in a man's mind, he stands humble, a humble bond servant of the one that created all things, the one that is the wise master builder upon the earth, that brings forth 
the will of the Father and nothing else. The Son, having received all from the Father, is our leader. And we ask forgiveness as being leaders of men 40 years in Mystery Babylon, building from the east coast to the west. Yeah. All kind of blackbirds in the sky. Yeah. Even naval stations in the sea. Towers in the air. Tanks. Yeah. Engine overhaul maintenance facilities for all the tanks we've designed and built with many great men. Yeah, the Blackbird planes, the whole Air Force Material Command. We worked with many great men upon the earth and retooled the lean process, the entire. Oklahoma City Material Command of the Air Force. Keeping it all in motion. Up and running 100% in case of wartime instantly hit. And we retooled the entire thing. That all the aircraft engines, whatever the Air Force may need, in the engines and the way to make the Air Force move radiant and magnificent across the earth. Yeah, that place is too old for that work. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, mighty friends, let us build the kingdom of heaven upon the earth first revealing the mansion built deep inside our hearts that the Mashiach and I, each of us, two as one live inside with him. And he lights our temple and helps us build everything inside, revealing the revelation of his living word, yeah, putting flesh upon our dry bones, he making us all come back alive. Now, Almighty Yahovah, let the word that you have spoken concerning your servant and concerning his house be established forever and do as you have spoken. First Chronicles 17 and twenty-three, yeah, like a Jimmy Carter submarine, yeah, a push button inside. Let your name be established and magnified forever, saying, Mary Yahovah of hosts, yeah, is the God of Israel. A God to Israel and the house of the beloved David, our servant. Yea, a king is a servant upon all. Yea, he is established before each of you in this moment in the twinkling of your eye and the revelation of the word of everlasting. For you, O Mary Yehovah, have revealed to your servants, your humble bond servants, that you will build for him a house. Therefore, your servant has found to pray before you. Now, O Mary Yehovah, you are God. And have promised this good thing to your servant. 
And now it has pleased you to bless the house. Yea, each house of your bond servants, the humble bond servants that have the Mashiach in their hearts, that it may continue forever before you. For you, O Maria Hova, have blessed. And it is blessed forever. Now, First Chronicles 18. How did the beloved David's kingdom become strengthened over these next seven days and seven nights? At the Mashiach. Yea, that the stone work could be completed. Ye, and the Father could come and rest upon his mercy seat in his perfect time. No man knows the day or the hour when the Father says, Sin the Son in his heart and if he hears the call let him come and knock upon the door and so they came to the door the disbelief in their heart The Pharisees and the Sadducees, they came up in testing Yehoshua. Yea, in our hearts. They asked him to show them a sign from heaven. But Yehoshua replied to them in this way. When it is evening, you say, Fair weather. For the sky is red like your ribbon. And in the morning, a storm today. For the sky is red and threatening. Do you know? How to discern the appearance of the sky, but cannot. See or taste the salt of the signs of the times we're in. An evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign. And a sign will not be given. No. There is but one sign. The sign of the prophet Jonah. And Yahshua left them and went away. And his disciples came to the other. But they had forgotten to bring any bread. Yeah, the carnal mind had them in the clutches for they Ate not, sought not the living word in the fourth watch. But Yehoshua, aware of this, 
said these things unto these men. You men of little faith, why do you discuss among yourselves that you have no bread? Do you not understand or remember the five loaves of, of the five thousand? And how many baskets you picked up? Oh, how long must I suffer with you? Or the seven loaves of the four thousand? And how many large baskets you picked up? Hmm? Think back, brother. Twelve baskets full of pieces. The yeah, remnants of fish. Pieces of broken bread. How is it that you do not understand and I do not speak to you concerning bread. But beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They put fences around fences and locks upon their children's temples. That the Mashiach would never in, enter inside. Yeah, that the wickedness. Yeah, the cunningness of their ninth rod. Yeah, let it be. Curved sword removed by the slicing of the living words blade upon them. The piercing of the veil of their heart with a double-edged parable word sword that's straight and true. Skewering, shish all the legions in their heart. Removing them and taking a left hand upon the sword with all their legions, hearts upon it, and flying out over the emerald ocean, the abyss of those who see. And with the right hand, remove them from the blade. Yeah, feed them to the fish. Yeah, let the abyss yeah, open wide and receive them. In the emerald deep sea. Let us turn and look for an apron to wipe our blade upon. Yeah. And let us remove the flap of your heart. Wipe the blade with it folded over it. The stain of your lamb skin, yea, would be covered by the porpoise and the badger, and the blood of the lamb would cover the hair of the goat, yea, and the greatness of Jacob's sons. And the wisdom of the coat of many colors hidden deep inside. 
Yeah, and during the famine, they were fed. Yeah, so much water came like a flood upon them. No crops could be grown. How Joseph's revelation, the storehouses, yeah, the moving of the streams of evermore, cunning craftsmanship, yeah, skillful work of men, yeah. So when Yahshua came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he was asking his disciples this. Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, and others Elijah, but still others, Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered, You are the anointed son, the son of the living God. Maria And Yahshua said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, because flesh and bone, yea, and the blood within them all did not reveal to you. But our Father who is in heaven has revealed this to you. Yea, then Yahshua also said to you that you are Peter. And upon this rock, the eyes will build Yehovah's church. Yea, in your heart, and the gates of hell will now will not overpower it, because the firmament of the sun and the brightness of the coming of the sun. Yea, the gates of hell will not overpower it, and the word will be made true upon this rock. I will give you the keys of heaven, yea, the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven too. And whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. Oh, be humble and be cautious with your word, with your heart, ye, with a tabernacle within your mind, that you can present yourself a living sacrifice when you awake and shish kebab that beast within you However many legions creep in, I pray that none have slithered in your heart. 
Yea, in the brightness of the day or the darkness of the night, let the brightness within you know darkness. There is no darkness where there is light everlasting. Then he warned the disciples that they should tell no one that he was the anointed son. For each of us ought to become an anointed son. Yea, the Mashiach in our hearts. Yea, the word of everlasting pouring his golden oil a widow's might upon us all. Her right hand, never the left, bringing forth the sons of everlasting to the delight of the grandest of fathers upon the earth. Let their mysterious gift given them by their fathers once bidden now, having overcome it all with the love of the truth in their heart, never revealing their left hand to any man or son, doing the perfect work that the everlasting would come forth in great delight for us all. From that time, Yahshua began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised up on the third day into everlasting the hope of glory. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid it. Lord, this shall never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Yes, Simon Barjona, the one that he made Peter the rock. And said these words that you know they shocked him, for he thought he understood it all. Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, for you are not setting your mind on God's interests, but man's interests. What are you doing, brother? Do you move in ways of everlasting moments upon each willing vessel, each passerby? Discipleship is very costly. It requires your whole life yeah, and suffering, but great joy beyond anything you could ever hope or imagine for those who love him. So Yahshua said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself. You must deny yourself the lusts of mystery Babylon. Turn away and take up his cross and follow me, follow Yehoshua. Yea, he is our leader. 
Let him be in your heart. Let your mind be with the hope of glory, your heart with the love of the Mashiach, your Hoshua, the truth, that the living word would be poured, yeah, like a widow's might upon the earth once more. Yeah, in ways of righteousness and truth, never being bound, their sons of burden, a beast of burden. No more! Yeah, so as it is written, so shall it be done. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life, if we for the sake of the everlasting, will find the everlasting. Yea, like Timothy, forgive them, Father, as they threw stones on him, but for they knew not what they were doing. Even then, if they did it, they were blind and didn't. But lies and headed by their, their father, forgive them, them for in your perfect moment. Yet you can set forth the transfiguration on my, on my heart this day. If they can be made ready to enter inside with the Mashiach, to the feast with him. For what will it let profit man if he gains the whole world, forfeits his soul into burning fire here in the abyss devouring the darkness behind you thrusting forth forth for them all. Son of man is is going to come the glory of his his father with his angels. The elect host of seven and Will then repay every man according to his deeds? Truly, the Mashiach says unto you, There are some of those who are standing here. Those have done all to stand who will not not take death until they see the Son of Man come come in his kingdom. Let us all raise the the fig up in great delight at the treachery moment. Let the the hope of glory After six thousand years, yeah, in this week of six, six days plus us one, 
a treasured moment. He, he, the Yahushua, be built this mercy seat of Father to reveal these flashing things within your, your eyes that you may may transfigured brother and be made ready for the Sukkot and on the eighth, eighth day of your great delight and temple door closes for for all time Oh, Father, give them a few more days. Yeah, let all the angels, yeah, Michaels, at Amen. War twenty one days and save the chose that. In the clutches of, of docks, and then the tread ones to be, be called will, will find a narrow way. Six days later, Yahushua took him, Peter, and James and John his brother and led them up on a high mountain by themselves and he was transfigured before them and in his face shone the sun and his garments became as white as light and behold Moshe and Elijah appeared to them Talking with them. And Peter, Peter said to Hoshua, Lord, Hoshua, it is, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three tabernacles here. One for you, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. All oh, the blindness. Brings tears to the Mashiach's eyes. While he was still speaking, a bright cloud overshadowed them. Them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud said, "This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him." Mark one 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 Yeah three three ones Good point When the disciples heard they fell face down to the ground and were terrified just as you are for one and in true. And Yahshua came and touched, touched them and said, Get up and do not be afraid. And lift up their eyes they saw no one except Yahushua himself self own. The vision have having been completed in the tabernacle of David, the tabernacle of Elavita Mines, is thus coming down from the mountains, and Yahushua commanded them some saying Tell the vision to know until the son, son of man has risen from the dead. And his disciples asked him, 
Why then do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? And he answered and said, Elijah is coming and will restore all things. But I say to you that Elijah already came and they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they wished. So also the Son of Man is go going to suffer at their hand. Then the disciples understood that he had answered them about John, John the Baptist. Mm. Demon and crap he found under the debunk. So when they came to the crowd, a man came up to Yahshua, Yahushua, the Almighty Son, falling on his knees before him and saying, O mighty Yahushua, have mercy on my son. He is a lunatic and is very ill, for he, he often falls into the, to the fire and often into the water. Do you have a son who is struggling with the anointing of the everlasting? The mystery by Babylon is him a lunatic and very sick because the fire of God is upon him and the washing of the word cleanses him and they're all jealous. Yeah. Mystery Babylon, the demons within in their hearts and minds. So the man brought him to your disciples, and they, they could not cure him. And Yahshua answered and said, you unbelieving and perverted generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring him here to me. And, and Yasha rebuked him, and the, and the demon came out of him, and the boy, boy was cured at once. Yeah, just as the spirit of it, fig tree revealed that it had an unfruitful nature. That spirit was removed and cast into the abyss, and it withered. And just at as this this demon, this little boy, yeah, this treasured innocent soul, suffering, yeah. His legions were cast into the abyss as well. Were they not? Then the disciples came to Yahoshua privately and said, Could we not drive it out? And he said to them, Because of the littleness of your, of your faith, for truly I say to you, to you, if you have faith, faith the size of, of a must seed, and you will say to, to this mountain, move from here to there, and, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. I say to each of your mindsets, nothing is real. 
exist now. Prepare yourselves for transfiguration that you may return as a prodigal son. Yeah, the feast of Passover where we remember the taking of the glory from earth. Yeah, may it be restored Lord, in the Father of time and in the, and in the Father's mysterious way before blindness of the all the earth. Because of the littleness of faith. For truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, yea, to, to each man's mindset, move from this carnal way of thinking into this spiritual way of thinking, and then it will move. And nothing will be impossible to you. But this kind of spirit, yeah, it does go, but it's but it's one way. Yeah. Faithful prayer, prayer and fasting. And he can be sent to the abyss. A drink that treasured the drops of the living water each day. And fat, fat is as much as you can. That your spiritual power can move all, all the darkness in, into the abyss. Should they dare to come as giants and stand before you? Yeah. In our, our weakness in the carnal realm. Yeah, just a, a, a singing and the rock in our pocket. Yeah. We can slid upside. That giant's temple. Yeah, and take his own blade and remove his, his head in the name, the name of the Father. For the forty, forty days and forty nine nights he filed the kingdom light. Let it, let it never be done again! And while they were gathering together in Galilee, Yehoshua said to them, this, this man is going to be delivered into the hands of these men, and they will kill him, and he will be, be raised on the third day. And they were deeply grieved. When they came to Capernaum, those collected the two Akbas came to Peter and said, Does your, your teacher not pay, pay the drachma? I paid mine. Spiritual mind of everlasting within me. I do what he asks, even one at a time, brother, brother. He said, Yes. And when, when he came into the house, Yehoshua spoke to him first, saying, What do you, what do you think, Simon? From whom? Do the kings of earth collect customs or poll tax from from their sons or from some strangers? Well, 
when Peter said, From strangers, Yehoshua was to him. Then the sons are exempt. And I'll pay no more, no more tax. Do you hear? hear? Do you hear? I, I want to see it. it. I want to hear it. Let peace and joy be in our, in our hearts. And in all the hearts of all those who gave. That never returned. And their widows. And their sons of your bondage. And for what you have done. May you be cursed forever. The abyss. That the tax. Yeah, the two pence I paid my brother. brother let it be, be made full payment. Two, two silver, uh, 1939 Merkid Dimes. Yeah, may the relation of, of 1939 be, be the name of a fire that puts all evil in the abyss. By the word of everlasting thing in your heart. Then the tabernacle of David in your mind. Humble bond servants. Never drawing natural blood. With one teacher. One leader. And it's, and it's not carnality to your men. Or the, the carnal mind of any man. It's only the divine man's heart that has humbled himself to serve all the earth and give his whole life for his brother. That the ever everlasting finally come forth. That, that all the sons of everlasting could. Raised with the Mashiach in their hearts. And the truth in our hearts would save us us all. In that great day of reckoning. When the rock passes by us all. May you be re-ready when the rock passes and stand radiant and magnificent in heart and forever with our Father and in the tabernacle of David and the, the love of the everlasting glory. Yehoshua, the Meshach, in our heart. Let's, let's let that skin, let the glory of the transfiguration, holding a ling of light in Moshe's hand, yeah, take our hand, and we can blow, blow your little mind, and reveal the ranks within the kingdom of light. That you will be a soldier of the divine rock and roll army of everlasting time. A plucker with skilled fingers on a ten string harp. Yea, before the blinds of men, men and playing the twenty two string harp. The Hebraic letters, the harp tuned to Tesla's frenzy. Yeah. Lightning, thunder, 
would be upon the, on the hearts of men, bound in, in misery Babylon, that their fear would be made it manifest by their love of wisdom. For the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the, the Father of everlasting living in, in an unrighteous world of mystery Babylon. For if you do not repent of your weakness, your veiled ways, your wick will be snuffed out. The, the night brush re removed that the true truth could shine forth on the eighth day. That the, that the seven bowls filled with golden anointing oil could be now set aflame in your heart. Yea, that you, with the flaming fire, could read the table of showbread. Yea, with the incense, frankincense, along your left hand side, knowing the smoke of mystery Babylon, the smoke of their burning. Yea, stricken into the abyss in this moment, more forever, more more. A smoke of their rising forever on our, on our left side as we, as we eat, eat them fast every, every day sunrise. Hallelujah. We are. For all my br brothers, ye, ye brothers and end, for none came. I, I invite them all in three and a half years and none came but one. A my marine, mm. let it be the catalyst, yea, all the mighty men of old to come forth, that the word would be made true, and in the everlasting in the suns, yea, it could be seen in the brightness of his coming. And he called a child to himself and set him before them. And he said, Truly I say, say to you, unless you are converted and become like, like children, you will not, not enter the king, kingdom of heaven. You will Faith must be as a child's faith, and an innocence never removed from them. That when that when their father tells them, them their mother says them, them, they doubt it not. They know it's truth. Their faith in their father, father and their mother, is what that level of faith of a child. Yeah. You know what that is like. You, you never doubted your mother, mother, mother. Yeah, have the faith when you speak words of life upon mystery Babylon. And should they come and defy the fireman of the everlasting father, yeah, may, may the rock in your pocket yeah, make them trim tremble. Make to make the rock add the temple of the head. Draw far for your hoshu she was blue. Yeah, let that them see it, but never, never taste it. For let it be forever in their heart, flowing as gold in their veins. Shouldn't they, they not repent, mighty father? Should they be unmerciful in their nature? Yeah, let your, your great eagle do his work. Nee, nee. 
mercy for the merciful. But the unclean thing, a thing that, that snares the, the hearts of righteous and chosen men, men and called, men wanted, men in everlasting even now down on the earth, bound, bound in darkness, trembling, wanting to receive the everlasting and received Father with their, their true repentance in their heart. Remove all the, the wickedness of their memories. Bring forth only those experiences, those thoughts, their whole lives before this very moment veiled. Their memories only brought forth by the glory of the sun in their hearts. Reveal the father of light in the tabernacle of their mind. Only art in the beginning of the planting and rising of seed. But in the, in the fullness yeah, of the fourth year, the fourth season, and fruit can be taken and shall be sweet. Yea, in the basket, basket full. Yea, in the two fish. Will feed five thousand. And twelve baskets of pieces. Spiritual tribes of Israel. Shall be brought forth by the princes. Yea, they become kings in the land. By Yeshua in, in their hearts and the Father in their minds. So whoever humbles himself as this little child, he is the greatest in the king kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one such child mm -hmm, in the name of the everlasting Father's glory, glory Yehoshua, receive Yehoshua within his, his heart at, at the first perfect time. Yeah. But whoever, whoever also is one of these little ones who believes in Yehoshua to stumble. If these little ones believe in the coming of the Mashiach in their hearts, and you make them stum stumble. <laughs> it would be better for you to have a heavy millstone hung around your neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. This would be better for you. And what did you do to those you loved in your blindness? You lied to the most precious thing upon the earth. The children, children of God, the guardians of the gate, you corrupted their hearts and minds. You taught them in these things. You, our, our fathers of mystery Babylon, the things we all inherited from our fathers have dress to my Yahovah and the everlasting glory of the truth. For some, yeah, an elect host portion, a two-thirds portion of heaven and the earth, and a one-third portion driven to the image, yeah, yeah, the counterfeit of the sun, the image of the beast that is coming forth, yeah, in a way, in a measure, 
Oh, that is not not just. Let him let him come. With just just wait. Let the, the angel go. The feather be upon Dan. Now thought the twenty one day days, and at the ones who dare to cross over in this season receive a seed. Then be day Davis three hundred, and the rest. With fear and trembling, let them go into the abyss. For the, the carnal wickedness, the killing of billions of babies, for the pagan gods, the weaver's work of Christian ways and pagan practices. I call it but pig Latin. Let not swine to your lips it's in any measure. Let the truth be your guide. Let the Mashiach be in your heart. Only the love of the truth will set you free if you are mystery Babylon. And it's only the distillation of the living water each day get blessed by the everlasting glory himself yeah with the faith in your heart upon this water and drinking only that forty days and forty nights at the farm of Makia and in the sorcery of the mystery Babylon can be broken in your family's life that your eyes can be opened the veil, the living word, the sword would come upon your veil, veil slice, slice, and she yak revealed with one more. And who, whoever receives one of these little children, a child, of the kingdom of heaven with faith of a child and the love of the son son the shiok in their heart and the father father in their mind they receive one such child in the name of them of the father in the name of his mighty son yeah. name of the father let them receive in the name of the son the mashiach Host you are the true truth in their hearts. But whoever calls us, don't ever forget this. That millstone laying right outside. Yeah, a big grizzly bear. Yeah, gentle Ben. Yeah, let him be our brother. brother. Yeah, never seen. Yeah, great tr trout, a rainbow trout. Yeah, in the clutches of his his jaws, a great delight for all time. Woe, woe to the world, because a mystery Babylon stumbling blood before us all. For it is inevitable that the tumbling blocks come. But woe to that man whom the stumbling block comes. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it from you. It is, it is for you to enter into life crippled or lame than to have two hands or two feet 
and be cast into eternal fire. If if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out and, and throw it from you. It is better for you to enter life with, with one eye, the good eye, than to have two eyes and be cast into show alive. See that you do not despise one of these little ones who come forth in the Father's name. For I say to you that there ain't angels in heaven continually see these of my, of my Father who is in heaven. Yeah. These men and angels are of the Father. Father. Peace. No man do these things and live. For the Son of Man has come to save that which lost all the lost sheep of the spiritual tribes of Israel. So what do you think, brother? Hmm? Are you still hanging in there? In there? Is that a car load on your back more than, more than what you can bear? Can you see what you need to be doing? Can you see the glory, yea, the everlasting glory of the sun? Yea, as the mountain is laid low and the, and the valley is made. Raised that the foot would be re raised and the circumcised heart would be sure and the, the stones set a blaze in your heart yeah, and the wax from, from your ears the wax of your family's ears would begin to melt with the burning in your heart and mind. If any man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountain and go and search for the one that is straying? If it turns out that he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over, over it more than the ninety-nine. Hallelujah! Which have, which have not stray. So, so it is. No, no, this. It is not the wheel, wheel of the asking father, but one of these little ones. Yea, lovers of the truth, the remnant of the divine. Yea, do you hear the spirit inside whispering the truth through your heart? So what do you think? If any man had a hundred sheep and one of them, oh, a year has, has gone astray, does he, does he not lead ninety-nine faithful ones upon the, on the mountain and go and search for the unfaithful one? And if it turns, turns out that he finds him on, on the mountain, yeah, yeah, truly I say, say to you, he rejoices is over it more than ninety-nine faithful that watched 
and prodigal son came back in the father's perfect time. Ye, let the ninety-nine rejoice, having been written in the, in the book, and, and given power. Ye, long ago to not go astray. Ye, know that the Father's will is that none of them will perish, and they shall be the ones that live forever. Those who dare to end to end in, those that could come forth, those that seek in the, in the kingdom of light, giving their whole, whole lives in the hope of glory to, to stand forever. But, but if not, let our faith burn in the hearts of men that the two, two third double portion would overcome the darkness forever in the earth. And mystery Babylon line would be no more. So if your brother sins, and sin, sin he will, each of us have fallen short of the glory. Go and show him his fault in private. If he listens to you, you have won your brother. But if he does not, not listen, take one or more with you. So that by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every fact may be confirmed. Yea, a lie and a moshe, that their words ye be a testament along our side. Yea, let the mystery of the word we speak. speak transfigure you in this moment with the heart of the great divine. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church, to the ecclesia, those called out ones, the other ones. If he still refuses to listen, even to those called out ones. let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Sounds like we all, we all have to bum. Lures of the, the everlasting to not be a Gentile and a tax collector. You know who these ta tax collectors are? Yeah. I send all my money. Yeah. And boys in Cal California, since I've retired after building all those things, things in there and with all those, those great men, Helping them, loving them. Since I've left their land, they have stolen twenty-six thousand dollars from my savings account for, for taxes. They said I did not pay. May they be cursed for such a thing, Father. May they return all they have stolen from me, all taxes I've, I've paid my whole life, Social Security. A fortune I have paid this government, these tax collectors, and what they give me of me. Yeah, they even steal any hope I might have of, of getting any return back. And here I stand when with no house, for I would not take a loan from Mystery by Babylon, because it is unbiblical. Drives, drives my wife crazy. For I try to live word as well as I can understand it. We've all, I've fallen short of the glory each ditch day that I get up and try again. 
Oh, and when the glory is everlasting in our hearts, can you imagine when he comes and he lives within our hearts forever? Only in part it, it first like he is now, but then in everlasting on the earth. As, as we see our children growing up with, with this love in our hearts like no other generation. Truly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be, shall have been back in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. So I bind the Gentiles as tax collectors. All those who have heard the word and Refuse to, to listen. I bind you on the earth. That you shall have been already bound in heaven. And I lose the gold and silver hidden away for the elect on, on the earth. And shall have it, it all boosted in, in heaven. And the vain gold upon righteous men. Again, I, I say to you, what if, if two of you agree on earth about any, anything that they may ask? Two as one, it shall be done for them by my Father who is in heaven. Mighty Yahweh. Again, eyes say, like Rams, Ramsey Canyon, the Rams say Canyon. No, brother, it's the Rams I Canyon. The Y is silent there. For where two or three have gathered together in, in my name. The Yahushua, the anointed son, is there in their midst. And when, when we pray for one another, the, the prayer of righteous man, confessing our shortcomings one to another, a three-bound cord, a rope in this manner, cannot be broken easily. Mystery Babylon, they wade around with demons' crap up to their knees in Sheol. And they think that's all there is. For that's the glimpse they were given. They said, well, I, I can handle all that. that. That's so bad. If I can, I can be the king of all, of all the earth. Yeah, have this great tower. Have, have all this agent 99 added to and turned upside down in this, this world. Yep. They're missing one thing. The cap zone. Yeah. Over the, the narrow ways gate. The work. The perfect work could, could be made manifest. Yeah. Manna fast in your heart. Then Peter came. And said to him. Yehoshua. How often shall my brother sin against me? I forgive him, him up to seven, seven times. Yehoshua said to him, I, I do not say to you 
to seven times. But up to seventy times seven. For for this reason the kingdom of heaven be compared to a king who went to settle accounts with his slaves. Yeah. Forty years they worked in Mystery Babylon, building this unseen world upon the earth. Yea, for thee these coming moments made certain in the hearts and minds of anointed men. When he had, had begun to settle, yea, the tsunami of peace he sent of our hearts. One who owned him, yea, and owed him. The one who once owned him and now owes him, ten thousand tents was to him. But since, since he did not ha have to repay, his Lord, Lord commanded him, him to be, be sold along with his wife and children, and all that, all that he had, and repayment to be made. So, so the slave fell and prostrated himself self before him, before him said, have, have patience with me, my Yehovah, ye and I will repay you everything. Yeah, he said these things before all of the men. And the Lord Lord of that sleep felt compassion, leased him, him and forgave him a debt. That he may, he may in, in, into these come to the, to the table and dine. With, with the divine vibe hid deep inside. But well, you know what that slave did? After being set free, even a forefathers, that sl slave walked and found one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii. And he seized him and choked, choked and choked him, saying him, Pay back, back, what you owe! So his fellow, fellow slave fell to the ground and began to beg and plead, plead him, saying, Have patience with me, I will repay, repay you. He was unwilling and went through him in prison and he should pay, pay back was owed. Yeah. How much, much more must I pay? How much more must each of us give? We've given all the money we've had We've given up in our whole life. We have nothing else to give but ourselves. Our word is all we have from the everlasting in our heart. So when his, his fellow slaves saw what he had done and what had happened, they were deeply grieved and came and reported to Yehoshua all, all that had happened. happened. Then Yahushua summoning him, his ever everlasting moment, he said, You wicked, wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should, should you not, not also so have had mercy on your fellow slave?
in the same way that I had mercy on you. And Yahshua moved with anger, handed him over to torture us, yea, the sift of the world, until they each one should repay all that was owed him, yea, justice and truth, yea, and may that debt be made Seventy times seven, seven with our forgiveness for, for them. Our must, must upon forgiveness of all the wickedness that they do we steal. As we speak words of love and kindness, and they hide in their dark places, the king, the eagle, I is not keen. Our Heavenly Father will also do the same to you if each of you does not forgive your brother. Yea, for the evil in his heart inherited by from his father like our heart was full of evil inherited by our father let each man receive the anointed son let him have a faith as a ch child towards the, the father he in the ever everlasting glory glory the, the teacher book living word, word of lasting Almighty free friends, the dawn of this day bring, brings a storm upon all the darkness of night. For at sundown, the Mashiach will enter in our hearts, and we will, will sup him in the tabernacle of our mind and in the mysterious way let the everlasting thing come in our hearts our love of the Shiok the, the blood of the end of the ended sun in our heart hearts not upon us but deep within us us porpoise skin and bridge skin yeah bring it yeah Stand in Miss Babylon and shine before you all.